What is up everybody, it is Bolt back with another video, and today we are in chess. We were just here, I think, two weeks ago? Um, but we're back. So, last time I think we were at like the three, the 200 range, I'm pretty sure. We're up to the 500s now, so, um, yeah, we'll see if we can win. So, looks like we're versing a 605. This is not going to be an easy game. Okay, so we're going to defend with knight. So he's going to develop both knights, so I'm going to do the same. So we did start out with queen's pawn. Just realized that. So we're playing the copycat variation. Because it starts out d4, d5, knight c3, knight f6, knight f3, knight c6, bishop f4, bishop f5. So it just continues with the copycat vari variation. And he's probably going to pin my... He's probably going to bring his bishop to b5, pinning my knight to my king. Oh, he didn't brought his queen out. So now I'm going to pin his knight. Yep, that's kind of what I thought he was going to do. So I'm actually going to trade there. Because I'm going to put him in check. Maybe he misses the pawn takes. He didn't. So maybe castle? Yeah, we're going to castle right now. So he long castles, which is not a very smart idea. So. Let's attack with the pawns. I'm going to put him right there, because that gets him out of danger from the pawn, and I couldn't have took the pawn. So I'm still going to take that, and he's probably going to recapture, but that's fine. I've lost both my bishops, he's lost both his rooks. So I'm going to push that pawn up, and then I'm going to bring the, bon the pawn that's sitting on b5 up one square. I kind of expected he was going to do that. I played that poorly. So I have to retreat it because if I I can't really move to any square without the risk of being captured. I mean So I'm attacking his queen. So he has one safe square if he wants to come towards me. And that would be the B B7 square. He just gave up his queen. Or he has a different plan. 
I think he has a different plan, and I don't know what it is. So now I'm nervous. Um. So we attack there. Which is definitely not the best move in that position. So I'm up as queen. So if I move here, and then I snipe up here, grab that. Then I snipe over here, grab that. Then I come up one, grab that. Put him in check. Then he has to move that. Then I can just kind of chip away at his pieces. As long as he doesn't see that many moves ahead in the future. Oh, okay. So he actually saw right into that plan. Okay. Interesting. So I'm going to attack his bishop with the pawn. Or, not with the pawn, with the uh, knight. So he saw into it. So I need to get this rook out from being trapped in the corner. So I think if I push him up one square to there, then I shift him to here. I take, he, tr he takes that. I take him with queen. Then he can't really attack. So he'll probably move bishop to there. Then I just snipe right across, grab that. I think that's the smartest option. Oh, I could have just... Could I have? I could have just moved the queen right to there. And then... Attacked his rook. But then he could have defended by putting his rook there. So, I mean, I'm I'm up a full eight pawns. King is castled. So I'm setting up a kind of like electrical shock, if you want to call it that. If he captures back with a rook, I capture that. So pretty much it's like trading rooks. And then I fork his rook and his bishop. But then he could just bring the rook up to e2. But then I just come over and I take his pawn on a3. Putting him in check. Which forces him to move it. Okay, that was kind of stupid. He captured a pawn as I captured his bishop. So he saw it. He saw it. So I've been thinking about this move, and I haven't said anything about it. So if I bring this rook back to here, then I bring the queen to there, then I bring queen there, then I take queen and I attack that pawn, it's checkmate. 
as long as he doesn't defend it. It's checkmate. But what I think I need to do right now is I just need to chip away piece by piece at his pieces. So if I trade right now, wait no, if I push the rook up, he can't take, and I don't, and I'm not forced to trade. But I think trading is a better option. So then I take that there, and if he moves his rook at all, then I steal his rook. So it's two power pieces to. He resigned. I just beat a 600. Being a 510. So let's look at that. So I had one great move. I had 78.8% accuracy. Not terrible. Oh, so it was pretty much just me when I captured his queen. So let's go through this game. So, starting out, we have a queen's pawn opening. So he starts out there. Then I go d5. Okay, two book moves in a row. Another book move, knight c3, another book move, another book move. So the queen's pawn opening, you've played this opening 29 times with a 50... 5% win rate, which is actually pretty good for me. So, then we start out at knight c3, bishop b4. So then we just kind of do really good moves. Whoa, where did I go? So there. So then I capture that, check him. He recaptures this with pawn. I castle. He should not have castled, so he blows a mistake, which actually he shouldn't have. I agree with that because it just puts him in a wide open file because the entire B file is open. There's none of his pieces in the way of that. And at this position, he can only move one piece into that area, and that would be his queen straight down to B5. So yeah, so then I blow my first blunder, and that's attacking with the pawn, which I now realize why that's a blunder. So then he blows a blunder by doing that, because all he had to do was just take his queen and capture that pawn on b5. So then I go there, which is, I don't know why that's a blunder, but it is a blunder. But pretty much I'm, at, I'm just doing that piece. So then he attacks my bishop. I move right to the open square. He defends with his bishop. I steal. We trade. Then I blow my first block. Oh, so those were mistakes. That's a blunder. My bad. By pushing that pawn up. So then he captures. I retreat with my knight. He moves it back. What could he threaten, though? I have no clue what he could have done there. A4, it's an inaccuracy. G5 is good. Knight D7 is good. Queen to B5 is good. C6 is good. Then he completely forgets about his queen. And I steal his queen. E4 is the right move. Whoa. I go knight b6, defending that pawn from the attack, um, because it's double attacks, because if he t attacks with the pawn, then if I recapture with my pawn, then he can just attack with the bishop, and I re-attack with the knight. So then he goes e5, I go queen c6, Go he goes rook d3, I go knight g6, he goes bishop b3, I go rook a7, which is a very good move. 
Then he goes bishop to g4. I go rook to c7. He goes f3. I go rook to c Rook takes the pawn on c3. Then he moves his bishop to right there. I recapture with the pawn. He blunders his rook. I steal his rook. He grabs my rook. I steal his pawn, and he resigns. So, hopefully you all enjoyed today's video, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.